This was a shamanistic action, for real. The music, the audience, and what you did, the energy, the exchange was incredible. Well, it was, it was techno, kind of. <laughs> you started quite strong, but the last track, really, was the energy. I... I love the deck metal crowd. They're amazing. Like it's it's so much fun playing here. It's really really cool. Did you expect anything for this set? I was a bit nervous. I have to say, like I I kind of because I've, it's my fourth year in a row playing a deck metal, and um, I always enjoy playing at the greenhouse. It's always really cool, and then. This, I was like, I'm going to do like the massive stage and I love the festival so much. I was like, okay, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to play? And um, I was really excited for it and uh, it was really good. You brought your support system. Yeah. Who was the charming man behind? Friend of mine. Yeah. You played right now the main stage. Have you had like a goal for yourself, like a bucket list, or you just let the life surprise you and just go with the flow? Or do you like set certain goals? I want to do that. I no, I don't really set goals. Like I, I kind of think like, okay, what could I play? And I, I only play records, so I have to select a tone. What could work? What would I? maybe want to listen to and then um, it's weird like I got goosebumps for the when I played the last track I got goosebumps and it's always a really really good sign that, that everything went right and I, I very rarely get this that I play something and I just stand there and I get goosebumps and I'm like oh my god this is so good and um, I got it so that was probably the goal not that I knew that was my goal, but um, I got goosebumps and that should probably be the goal. So the last track was just intuition or you sort of thought you want to slow things I, down? Um, I put it in my bag as the last track. I thought like, I, I bought this, this um, record years ago um, and uh, I only ever played it once in a, in a club or like out. And um, when I got the offer and when, or, or when I packed my bags for this, I was like, okay, what am I going to do? And then I was like, I, I want to play this track somewhere because it's, I, I love it so much. And I thought maybe it's a good last track. Amazing. I had more moments when the goosebumps were like all over my body, for real. In one of your interviews, you said that the fame came to you gradually, that the stages became bigger, your name on the flyer went up and bigger. What do you think, if it would be just like hyped boom, would your personality handle this hyped boom? Or would it be overwhelming? Or do you think, oh, I'm strong enough? I don't know. You mean if it all came like it was? I don't know. It didn't, so I don't, I don't know. I think it would be probably quite weird. And uh, also, you learn so much, like, the more you play, and when you play in smaller spaces, and then you get trouble with the turntables, and you learn how to deal with it, and how to find solutions for those problems. And um, I think if you get just thrown on a big stage, I wouldn't have the... Like the, the, the time to learn how to deal with problems, basically. And um, you get a lot of trouble with these things. But not today, yeah? Not today. No, it was perfect. You did a very, very good job. And what's on the plans for the rest of the night? I'm probably going to go sleep. I only slept for four hours. I played in Frankfurt last night and I'm going to Amnesia tomorrow and I, I only slept for a few hours and I think it would probably be a good idea to get some rest but I'm a little bit tipsy already. I think you Which should let yourself. Let <laughs> yeah, let myself go. And enjoy a little bit this moment. Let it sink um, in and decompress. I kind of... 
I don't know about that, if that's a good idea. My flight is really early tomorrow. And maybe I, I just want to suggest some. just why don't you stay away till the flight, but maybe. I'm sabotaging your next gig. <laughs> so, what's the great after party? Uh, we have radio, shelter, the school. We can do it just here on a campsite. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. a good idea. Someone is having it just there. He's loving it. I, I think we should join him. I think I should go sleep. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. That's amazing.